Today I'm going to make cauliflower and for that I have a big lump earth translucian and some opaque white and I'm going to mix these two together. But to make the mold I took a real cauliflower um, and yeah you can hear it's raining outside right now but anyway I took a real cauliflower and I took a tiny tiny piece of it and I put it into my mold putty uh, and left it over. I don't have the piece because it got too old. I made this a few days ago. Anyway, so here I have the mold of the cauliflower and it's actually pretty good. But I'm going to mix these two colors together and then I will be right back. I got my two colors mixed now and I'm going to take a part of it and make a small ball and put it into my mold here. And I got a bit too much in there. And I'm squeezing it into my mold and making the stem here uh, on the back side of my mold. And for that, I'm going to use a dotting tool. Something like that. And you can uh, do the bottom of your cauliflower as detailed as you like to or not because I'm going to put some green on it anyway when I'm done but I like to make a little stem anyway and when you are happy like I am here you can either pop it out or leave it in and bake it I'm going to leave this one in and bake it and then I will be back so till a little later I have got my cauliflower bacon and it's right here you can see the details in it and it actually turns out pretty good I kind of like it anyway I have some scrap clay in a greenish color that I like and I'm rolling it out and it actually is not all greenish it's have like some white in it and some light green and some green and some yellow I think so I'm going to take small pieces of this one then I have my big bond and I'm going to put that on the back side on my cauliflower to make it sticky for the leaves. Whoops. Something like that. Then I take these green pieces and I'm going to give them some texture. And you could do it in the way you like to. to stick them on the bottom part So I have the bottom of my cauliflower covered with green. I'm going to turn it upside down and just make sure I like the way the leaves are sitting on my cauliflower on the right side of it. So you can mold them like you feel like until you like the result. That's how I do it. And now I'm going to bake this again for 10 minutes or so. And then my cauliflower is all done. So that's it. Happy crafting. Mm -hmm.